At the end of this video, you should be able to describe the modern periodic table, explain how the periodic law can be used to predict the physical and chemical properties of elements, and describe how the elements belong to a group of the periodic table are related in terms of atomic number. Chapter 5, Section 1, The Modern Periodic Table. The periodic table has undergone extensive change since Mendeleev's time. See figure 5-6 on pages 130 and 131. Chemists have discovered new elements and, in most recent years, synthesized new ones in the laboratory. Each of the more than 40 new elements, however, can be placed into a group of other elements with similar properties. The periodic table is an arrangement of the elements in order of their atomic numbers so that the elements with similar properties fall in the same column or group. The noble gases. Perhaps the most significant addition to the periodic table came with the discovery of the noble gases. In 1894, English physicist John William Strutt, aka Lord Rayleigh, and the Scottish chemist Sir William Ramsey discovered argon, AR, which is a gas in the atmosphere that had previously escaped notice because of its total lack of chemical reactivity. Back in 1868, another noble gas, helium, HE, had been discovered as a component of the sun, and based on, uh, which was based on the emission spectrum of sunlight. In 1895, Ramsey also showed that helium also exists on Earth. In order to fit argon and helium into the periodic table, Ramsey proposed a new group, and he placed this group between the groups now known as Group 17, the fluorine family, and Group 1, the lithium family. In 1898, Ramsey discovered two more noble gases to place in his new group, krypton, Kr, and xenon, Xe. The final noble gas, radon, Rn, was discovered in 1900 by the German physicist, uh, scientist Frederick Ernst Dorn. The lanthanides. The next step in the development of the periodic table was completed in the early 1900s. It was then that the puzzling chemistry of the lanthanides was finally understood. The lanthanides are the 14 elements with atomic numbers between 58, curium, Ce, and 71, lutetium, Lu. Because these elements are so similar in, in chemical and physical properties, the process of separating and identifying them was a tedious task that required the effort of many chemists. The actinides. Another major step in the development of the periodic table was the discovery of the actinides. The actinides are the 14 elements with atomic numbers between 90, thorium, Th, to 103, lawrencium, Lr. The lanthanides and actinides belong in periods 6 and 7, respectively, of the, of the normal periodic table, but between the elements of groups 3 and 4. To save space, however, the lanthanides and actinides are usually set off below the main portion of the periodic table, as is shown on your screen now. Periodicity. Periodicity with respect to atomic number can be observed in any group of elements in the periodic table. Consider the noble gases of group 18. The first noble gas is helium, HE. It has an atomic number of two. The elements following helium in atomic number have completely different properties until the next noble gas, neon, Ne, which has an atomic number of 10. The remaining noble gases, in order of increasing atomic number, are argon, Ar, atomic number 18, krypton, Kr, atomic number 36, xenon, Xe, atomic number 54, and radon, Rn with atomic number of 86. The differences in atomic number between successive noble gases are shown in figure 5-4. Also uh, shown in figure 5-4 on your screen now are atomic number differences between the elements of group 1, which are solid silvery metals. As you can see, the differences in atomic number between group 1 metals 
follows the same pattern as the differences in atomic number between the noble gases. Starting with the first member of groups 13 through 17, a similar periodic pattern is repeated. The atomic number of each successive element is 8, 18, 18, and 32 higher than the atomic number of the element above it. In section 2, you will see that the second mystery uh, presented by Mendeleev's periodic table, the reason for periodicity, is explained by the arrangement of the electrons around the nucleus. There are 92 naturally occurring chemical elements or atoms. They differ in the numbers of protons, neutrons, and electrons they contain. The periodic table arranges these elements in order of complexity. For example, hydrogen, element 1, is the simplest atom because it contains only one electron and one proton. It appears at the top left of the table. Uranium, the most complex of the naturally occurring elements, has 92 electrons and 92 protons. The number of protons in an atom is the same as its atomic number. The atomic number for each element appears just above its letter abbreviation. The periodic table also arranges elements together in groups or families. Elements in a vertical column are called a group. The elements in a group have similar chemical properties. For example, the noble gases on the rightmost edge of the periodic table have great stability and limited reactivity with other elements. Group 1, the alkali metals, have similar reactivity. They readily form hydrogen gas when added to water. A horizontal row of elements forms a period. The differences between elements in a period and elements in the next period are consistent between the groups. For example, if we look at the difference between elements in group 18 and in group 1, we see that the difference in atomic numbers is constant. 8, then 8, then 18, then 18, and then 32. This means that the atoms are consistently becoming larger by a set number of protons as you move from period to period. Note that there's a special block of elements below the main table known as the lanthanide and actinide series of elements. They are grouped together and placed below the main body of the table to keep it from becoming too wide. Elements with atomic numbers greater than 92 do not occur naturally, but can be produced in laboratories. Most are not very stable and decay rapidly. At this point, you should be able to describe the modern periodic table, explain how the periodic law can be used to predict the physical and chemical properties of elements, and describe how the elements belonging to a group of the periodic table are interrelated in terms of atomic number.